Tripod. Damn, tripod head, I'm gonna throw the shit to get back home. everybody welcome to another morning in the Purcells now then the peaks back here have quite a bit of cloud it's quite smoky still but not as smoky as yesterday now to the east though there's cloud as well but the Sun is just starting to come up it's a little bit later than I would have liked it but you know when Beggars can't be choosers, I guess. This uh, color that's starting to, to form in the clouds over here. The problem with up on this ridge, we get this fantastic view of Cobalt Lake and Bugaloo Spire, but there's not an awful lot for foreground interest. Jeremy has found some, uh, some nice interest, so uh, I might steal his composition afterwards, because <laughs> You know, I'm a bit lazy that way. So it's just... <laughs> you gonna use that? <laughs> <laughs> so it's just a matter of um, waiting for the light to come up and it looks like we might get some... looks like we might get some nice color. So... Yeah, the peaks back here are just starting to get a bit of light. Anniversary peak in the background there. Fingers crossed. Look at this, absolutely fantastic. Finally, nice light. <laughs> Sorry, I, uh, I didn't bring my microphone, I left it at the tent, so you'll have to excuse the sound quality, but I'm sure the light and the scenery will, will make up for, uh, for the absence. So what I'm doing here is, I have to try and mind that I don't have my shadow in, in the way of the picture, but there's a, a little kind of dead snag here with some rocks and a bit of greenery in the foreground. Kind of makes a, a nice foreground. And then of course we've got the mountains and the light in the background. It's absolutely spectacular. We were a bit worried there for a while. So I'm going to get right to it before we lose the light. Uh, and then I'll just post the images and you can scrutinize away. I'm trying to get the lake in a little bit. All right, so the, the, the light on the mountains behind us is pretty much done. So we've run over to the other side of this plateau and behind me um, are these fantastic light beams. But we've been taking photographs of these light beams and of course the light beams are being caused by the, uh, all the haze and the smoke particulate in the air. But it's just fantastic. You know, they're just starting to fizzle out now because the clouds are, are slowly moving in front of the sun there. 
But uh, if you weren't here to witness it, I mean, it's almost unbelievable. I'm sure that when uh, you know we show these images on uh, on any kind of social media, people go, "Oh yeah, yeah, you photoshopped it." And that's the kind of issue that I have with with Photoshop is that or manipulation is that sometimes it's hard to tell the difference between you know natural light and manipulated light. And when you do get that unusual natural light, then it um, you know it just makes that image so much more special. I think. Uh, over, say, uh, manipulating it in a, on, a, on a computer. But yeah, this is really quite something. I think it's raining! I think the sun's on it. Oh shit, let's go. What are you waiting for? Is the sun on it? What do you think, Jeremy? Okay, now at this point I have to apologize because I didn't take any video and the reason being was that the, the conditions were just changing so drastically and so quickly that I wanted to, to concentrate on the photography. I did manage to pull off two images that I'm showing you right now. Uh, the second image I, I really love. It's the same composition as the, the other image that I took with the, uh, the nice light, but I think I prefer this one because there's really nice separation between the foreground, the middle ground, and the background. And of course, we have these dramatic clouds swirling around uh, Bugaboo Spire. trying to dry the tent out a little bit. It was pretty frosty last night and uh, quite cold actually. Uh, clear skies obviously, so it brings the colder weather. We've had a really mixed bag of <laughs> weather on this trip from beautiful sunny skies to all out blizzards. <laughs> it's been a, a really, really neat experience. So today we're heading down. Um, we've been on this ridge now for, for three days. And I think we've got some pretty nice images of uh, the bugaboos from, from this ridge. We did go down to Cobalt Lake for, uh, for a day. I didn't really take any footage down there. It's beautiful down there, um, but you're not supposed to camp down there. That's why we're camped on this ridge here. Um, but it's a good place to camp because uh, you get such an expansive view of the bugaboos from here. Down at Cobalt Lake, it's, it's very pretty and you can probably get some really nice shots. There's a few little waterfalls, uh, but if you want the expansive landscape shot, then I think this is the place to be. Right, just going to get packed up and uh, 
Then we've got a, a hike down. It's pretty steep, not too far. I think it's about seven or eight kilometers down to the car, but it's a, a pretty, pretty hefty elevation gain. I think it's a thousand meters. So a bit harsh on the knees going down. <laughs> right.